should have. Well, to get a sense of the two opposing camps, we're joined by Ahmed Saeed, who's in our Cairo bureau. He is a leading member of the opposition coalition, the National Salvation Front. And here with me, out, just outside this polling station, is Sundus Asim, who's the media spokesperson for the Freedom and Justice Party of the Muslim Brotherhood. Sundus Asim, first to you. Many people here seem to be voting no to this constitution. What would you say? Why should they vote yes to this charter? Well, uh, let's first uh, say that we are very uh, happy uh, and optimistic to see such a high turnout across all uh, the country. Uh, whether a yes or a no vote passes, uh, it's important to respect uh, the results and to respect democracy and to uh, respect the will of the majority of Egyptians. Second, uh, we, we are calling for a yes vote because um, we believe that the current uh, constitutional draft is the product of the best possible consensus among uh, the diverse Egyptian political parties and currents, uh, both Islamists, liberals, seculars, Christians and even the, the Christian Church, Al-Azhar, all Egyptian institutions have taken part in drafting this constitution. They have voted on all the articles in the constitution, even though some of them have withdrawn in the final sessions. But we believe that uh, a lot of effort has been put into this draft. It safeguards uh, civil rights and liberties. It decreases the powers of the president almost by 50 percent. Uh, compared to the 1971 uh, constitution. It grants freedom to establish political parties, uh, NGOs, um, etc., freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Uh, we believe that... Let's, 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 let's yeah. get an... Uh, Ahmed Saeed, we, uh, Sundus Asim says that this is the best possible draft. What do you say to that? You're still opposing it. Yes, we, we are opposing this uh, constitution and... Uh, I think uh, the lady who was talking right now was mentioning about people pulling out from the Constitutional uh, Assembly uh, just before uh, the Constitution was drafted, and there should be major reasons for them pulling out. Uh, part of us did not even uh, agree to, to participate in the whole process from the very beginning because it was an unfair assembly from the very beginning, and it was done in a very emergency circumstances by the military. But uh, the question now will not... Uh, is not actually to discuss the clauses and the articles of this constitution, whether it is great or not. We can argue forever about uh, the rights of the presidents and his authority and things like that, and the human rights, uh, women's rights. We can argue forever. The question that I'm asking right now is why have this constitution offered to the people during that time when the country is totally polarized and divided, a constitution which is supposedly done to unite the Egyptian people and it's now dividing the Egyptian people a constitution that is offered to the people in such a, a, a very exceptional circumstances and it's unprecedented in the history of the world to have something like this offered to the people when the judiciary, the, the, there are not enough judges to, to supervise the, the, this referendum, when the Egyptian people are killing each other in the street, when there is rage in the street between the Egyptian people, when the media city is completely bombarded, when there is total absence of uh, uh, of security and the president actually failed to achieve this, the, the security measures that he promised the people since last June to, 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 uh, to, uh, to achieve. So where is, what is the point of Let's having a constitution unless they want to hide something? Well, let's see, Sundus Asim, what do you have to hide? In fact, uh, I disagree with that uh, opinion. I believe that uh, having uh, the referendum at that time is in fact the, uh, the solution and the way out of such uh, deadlock in our country. We don't want to live in a perpetual state of lawlessness and instability. We would like to have both the executive branch together with an elected legislative branch and also we would like to have an elected government and an el elected parliament and we would like that to take place as soon as possible. We don't want to wait for another year or two as one of the secular and liberal leaders well, have stated. We would like to have uh, a functional democracy and to build our institutions as soon as possible. Ahmed Saeed, I want to say to you about uh, Sundus Asim said it was mainly it was drafted and then many people like you and the liberals and the secular camp pulled out shouldn't you have stayed to try to make this a charter that you could support oh we, we uh, actually my my party and some of other political parties did not participate from the very beginning last June there were some other civilians who 
who pulled out. But I just want to explain to her that the Constitution has nothing to do with stability. We've not been hearing anything from the President and the Presidential Office about education, about security, about the economy, about health care. It has nothing to do with, uh, with stability. And we're not talking about one or two years, as she just mentioned. We're, talk we we're talking about one to two months when the country is calmer, when people can talk together, when we can reach a compromise as how we want to have this constitution. The president himself have offered the constitution and assembly a couple of months in his constitutional declaration, which he issued on the 22nd of November. And we were all surprised and I stunned the world by passing it in 24 hours. And I even worked until late night to pass the constitution and hand it over to the president. I'm just asking whether this is normal, exceptional, or uh, it should be acceptable or not. You, it was rushed through, wasn't it? So in just 16 hours, it was approved. Uh, that's incorrect. Uh, the 16 hours are the hours of the voting session, which takes place all over the world. Uh, usually, the voting session has to be just one session, whatever the length of that session. And the constitutional draft itself has taken six months of uh, continuous uh, discussions, deliberations. Each constitutional article has taken at least uh, 300 hours of work. There, are, there has been a lot of hearing sessions, 50,000 uh, recommendations and suggestions have been taken into consideration. So Ms. Awesome and Ahmed Saeed, I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. So the divisions continue over the drafting of this key charter and its articles as well. But today, it's the people of Egypt who will be deciding. That's all from us now. Back